Hi, I'm Otiana Alwand, reporter at the Edmonton Journal. Today we're at Gold Stick Park and we're going to learn how to properly wax our skis with the Canadian Berkebeiner Learn to Lop It program. So I'm with one of the instructors, Ken, and he's going to tell us a few things. So what we're going to do is demonstrate uh, what makes skis work. And the main thing is the camber of the skis. So you can see the stiffness. So what happens is that our skis glide, must glide, and we can grip the snow also. So the front and the back part of our skis is where we're going to glide. And we'll put glide wax on them. We melt this hard wax in different colors for different temperatures. If it's really cold, we'll put a colder wax on. And if it's warm, we'll put a warmer wax on. So in the middle is where we get our grip. So this zone, we want to put grip wax on our skis. So to do that, we'll, we'll choose a wax that's relevant for the day that we go skiing. If it's minus 15, we'll use like something that's in the range of minus 5 to 15. And we'll cork it on, or we'll apply the wax in this zone, nice and smooth, cork it in. Keep it, keep it thin and smooth. As soon as it gets lumpy, then you'll run into problems. It won't grip as well. So about three or four thin layers. If you want to spend, if you want to go out for a longer ski, then put four or five layers on. So for different, uh, so what we have here is something for really cold, relatively cold and quite warm. You can mix them up de depending on, um, on the conditions and your experience, but you might as well start with, with um, basic, match the temperature to the ski, and if you find your wax is not working, you're not getting enough grip, then you might go for a little warmer wax, like a higher temperature with, that's written on the label, and if you find that your skis are not sliding, that means they're icing up and it's too warm so you go for something a little colder. And as long as you've kept it nice and smooth, you can put another wax on top, like colder or warmer.